What is up guys? So I went ahead and made a recording template for you guys. The link is in the description so you are able to just download it and use it right away. This is a recording template for FL Studio 20.9. If you are a licensed user, you can get this update for free. That's one of Image Lines or FL Studio's promise is that they're always going to have free updates. I would definitely suggest to update it. FL Studio 20.9 was one of the best updates yet. Once you download it inside the folder, it's going to come with instructions on how to properly use it. It's also going to come with a couple vocal preset chains. You can go ahead and replace them if you want to. In case you didn't know, I do offer vocal presets on my website. The link is also in the description or in the upper right hand corner. So in this video, I'm just going to be talking about how to actually install this and then also how to best use it. Without further ado, let's jump into FL Studio. That sounded pretty dope, right? The first thing you wanna do is grab your beat or instrumental and uh, load it right here. Let's just use the Giveon beat that I uh, made real quick. That's what you wanna do when you wanna load it into the playlist. You just drag and drop it into the playlist and then it will be connected automatically to insert number five within the mixer channel. If you play it, you can see that the signals are connected, so everything is looking good. First things first, after you drag your beat into the playlist, you now want to find the tempo of the beat. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna keep it at 140. The next thing you wanna do, on the beat insert, I have a beat volume. All I did was turn down the beat so it's at negative 4.5 dB. A lot of the beats that are out there are fully mixed and mastered. So I just made sure to turn it down. That way it gives it headroom when recording your vocals. You wanna make sure that the beat volume is adjusted to anywhere around negative four to negative six dB and make sure that it is the loudest part in the beat. So you wanna highlight wherever the loudest part in the beat is and you wanna just play it and you wanna adjust the beat volume accordingly to where it says or where the beat signal sits in between that negative four to negative 60 beat. Next thing you wanna do is find the key scale to your beat. I have plenty of videos showing you how to do this. After you find the key scale to a beat, make sure that you set your key scale in your pitch correction plugin. And we could just set it to, you know, for now we could just set it to C major but obviously you're gonna set it to whatever the key scale is for your beat. Make sure you set it for the lead vocals as well as the ad lib vocals. So C major. And then once that's set, we are now going to prepare it for recording. Under the lead recording, go to your audio input source, select whatever your first line mono line input is. And as you can see, it's already armed for recording. Your template should say it's gonna be external input only. And then I have the arm or disarm for recording turned on. Really all you gotta do now is just press the record button and it's going to record your vocals. So if I'm trying to record the lead vocals first, I would wanna turn the arm on for recording. And then I'm going to press the record button. It's going to count down. And now it is recording my vocals. I can play it back just like this. Sound, and now it is recording my vocals. You could set it up for ad lib recording. If I wanna choose the ad libs recording, I would just hit the arm for recording, turn it on, and then press the record button. Here's a couple helpful tips for you guys. Um, when recording your vocals, just make sure that signal sits around that negative four to negative six dB, similar to what your beat is at. This just gives your project some headroom for mixing and mastering. If you want to increase or decrease the brightness of your vocals, go to your Maximus plugin and just increase or decrease this high band. I tend to have my vocals a, a bit more on the brighter side, thus giving it a little bit more clarity. You could do this on your lead vox as well as your ad libs vox as well. When adjusting the effects like the reverb or delays, you would essentially want to adjust the wet knob within the plugin. But if that doesn't have a wet knob, here's the fruity delay on the ad libs. This one doesn't have a wet knob. I mean, it has an input right here and you can adjust the input, but as you can see, I adjusted the mix knob and that essentially does the same thing, a little different, but it still gives it a really good sound overall. You can use these 
mix knobs if you wanna adjust the reverb course or delays. Please like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Let me know what you like and what you wanna see next. I appreciate you guys' time. Have a blessed day. Peace.